This is Dinner with Deuce again. This is episode 10. We were going to make our gourmet extravaganza with our specialty hot dogs, but it's raining like cats and dogs and Milo's out there, so we really can't. So instead, today we're going to make a disc Mexican soup. And here are some of the ingredients we're going to use is carrots, zucchini, and those onion things, which my assistant chopped up earlier. And we have dark red kidney beans, some tomato sauce, white kidney beans, our tacos, so it's Mexican, so I gotta have tacos. And diced tomatoes, our grease, actually virgin, huh? And our ragatoni, garlic powder, and bouillon, beef bouillon. Now, and also I forgot that we have some peas. Just have all the ingredients for soup. And now I'm going to peel some carrots here. having a rest. He sees, he sees these carrots he may wake up. He lo loves carrots. Mm. I don't have to make them too big. I don't want, don't want to make them too small. And notice I'm cutting hair. I have my first aid pretty close in case I cut my finger. Do the last one the other way. There. Oh, that was close that time. I almost took the tongue. That's another cold and rainy day on PEI. So it's good to have some nice warm soup. Now I have my zucchini here. Butter in slices just like you're doing a cucumber. Cut them in quarters. Okay, so now I'm going to put two tablespoons of the oil into my dish here, pan. Turn my pan on to me high, medium, medium, I should say, medium low. There we go. Let that heat up a little bit. Now I'm going to pour some water in here. Why? So I'm going to put it in so for the beef bouillon. I don't want to melt it. Okay, three cups. Three cups of water. Which will be six cups of hat. Three. Next. There we go. 
Make sure it reaches the minimum line. Pretty close. How are we doing? We'll put another cup in there. Put another cup in for good measure. Plug her in, turn her on. No. Yeah, there she goes. Mm -hmm. Let that boil up for a boof, boof, billion. Put them into our pot. Okay, now we're gonna saute these mixture of vegetables and onions, my favorite things. And I'm gonna let them cook be till they come translucent. So we're gonna put the pot on, let them simmer here for a little while, medium heat. Just stirring it up here. Sure. Saute them. Come before they become a translucent. Onions. Oh, it's making my eyes go booty body. I'm gonna take my beef bully up. Take this off. It's here sauteing good, translucent color. I'm gonna take my water, boil water, and dump her in here. The cans here. First, I'm gonna take my dark red red kidney beans and put, excuse me, put them in. And after you're finished with cans, always remember put them in the recycling bin. Clean them up, put them in the recycling bin so they can be reused again. Never know, it might be made into an aluminum beer can or something. There we go. Red kidney beans. Use red kidney beans for doing the chili. Okay. Now I have my tomato sauce. Some of the same ingredients we use for making chili chili with me. Ow, that was a hard one, that one. Oh, could be a messy job here. Could be a messy one. Could be messy. Okie okay, dokie. Okay. Okie okay, okay. Keep in mind, this, this here is not even a Susan Milo too much. Oh, the sun's trying to come out the upper side. Put some of this hair in here. Now we have our white kidney beans. We could use this for chili and have white chili instead of red chili. Something to eat, my mouth. Mm -hmm. So 
Nyla, you don't like like white kidney beans. It's quite a, almost every color of the spectrum in there. And now. A big can of diced tomatoes. Diced tomatoes. Just a little stir. I think there's enough going to be enough here to feed an army. Well, I think so. A little bit too spicy for you, Milo. Well, you might eat the carrots. Teaspoons of garlic powder. Oh, I should open it before I forget. I should open this first. Yeah. You just scoop it. I could scoop it. Mm. There, nice one. Two of those. Handy handy bags. That's not a receivable bag, I don't think. Oh, I may have a seizure. Oh, oh, strong stuff. You can scoop it too. Oh, I, I like pouring better. I'll listen to what my assistant says. Okay. Not much more than three in here. There we go. And now we're gonna have half a cup of whole green beans. Hey Milo, what are you doing, stinky? Yeah, you stinky Milo. Well, this could be hard. No, these are beans. I don't think you like them, man. No. Oh, frozen beans. Getting more ice than I know. There we go. Not frozen too long in there. Mm, not frozen too long in there. Just to give it a splash of color. Mm, yeah, we just want to give it a splash of color. I want to get some rangatoni here. Best of use before September 13th, 2020. So I guess we're all right. So I'll just put a little bit in here. This is, this is the pre-cooked stuff, so it's already been, already been cooked once. Put the rest in. No, oh, my assistant wants me to put it all in there. What the heck? We have all our ingredients in, in the Mexican soup. And I'm just gonna set it on here. And I'm gonna let this simmer at medium heat 
for a half an hour. So I'll have to put my timer on. Thirty minutes. Start. There. Twenty-nine fifty-nine. And that's how we make Mexican soup. Other other words, Canadian stew with a Mexican flavor. And voila. Give her a little stir. And to let her cool down. Looks good. Looks like a Mexican extravaganza. And that's what we call Mexican soup. Oh, since this is Mexican, I guess we could use some tortilla chips. And mm. eat them and, and some hot peppers, Mexican peppers or whatever you want to do. You wouldn't use any graham crackers, though. They're no good. Yeah, you could have some tortilla chips. I think that would make a good uh, garnish to the whole situation. What about guacamole? Well, you could have guacamole if you want to use some guacamole or any of those there things. Hi, this is Goose again. I'm just introducing a new segment of my show, which I'm going to taste some of the fruits from all over the world. And today we have a tamarillo, which I purchased in a small fruit shop up the street. And it says here, Heavenly Fruits, and it's a product of Colombia. So we looked it up the internet, and we, we learned that you're not supposed to eat the uh, skin of it, same idea as uh, orange sorry it couldn't it didn't flip out orange so I'm gonna cut it open and I'm gonna have a taste and see what see what it tastes like. Cutting it open here. Piece. Oh it has little seeds in it. Oh looks to be quite uh, goes nothing. <laughs> it's a taste which is different, that's for sure. It's hard to describe, sort of sour. And it's almost, it's almost, uh, how would you taste, say that? It's almost like a uh, Tomato, almost. Well, that's good because it's called the tree tomato. Yeah, well, that's it. So this is this is coming off of a tree, so it tastes a little bit like a, a tomato, but it's a a more of a, a zestier taste. It's a different taste, something you'd have to get used to. Very sour. Anyways, I'm going to give my little rating of the Tamarello. It's uh, it's sort of a, a different thing than what we're used to in Canada. And out of a five, I will probably give it a two. Mainly because of the, the bitterness of the taste, and I, I really not into that. But uh, other people may like it. Anyway, that's all for now. See ya! And that's all for this episode, folks, of... Uh, Mexican soup and I just like to remind you to uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel daily media and uh, You'll be able to uh, like some comments Once you it's a, and it's a free subscription, so it doesn't cost you no money and also yeah, I'm uh, if it ever stops raining, I'm going to uh, have my gourmet dogs deuces gourmet dogs remember that it's common folks. It's common See ya. Saute them. Become they, or they become a translucent. Oh, all oh, the onions. Oh, making my eyes go moody, buddy.